and welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. I am a card maker and I love to share my ideas with you. I make it really easy because I give you all of the measurements. They're over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. You can also purchase supplies right from there if you want to make the card exactly like I'm making it. Or I try to make ideas where you can use stuff that you already have at home. I also have a print and make project sheet for every project that I make um, and I give these to my email subscribers so if you're not subscribed um, there's a link down below for you to do that and I send these out on every Friday now if you're watching this and it's past the time that I've sent this out um, and you're an email subscriber just let me know which project sheet you want and I will email it out to you all right let's get started <music> I am so super excited to show you guys how to make these cards. This is like totally my style. It's simple, clean, bright colors, and um, and this is kind of, I just love just the funny uh, sayings that you can put on these. Anyway, I'm so excited to show you. This is what um, makes this all possible. I love this set. When the new annual catalog came out, this was the one that I wanted because I love that I can write anybody's name any phrase any anything I feel like this has such a great value because it is so versatile and it comes with this cute little punch if you buy the bundle together um, you get 10% off and it comes with this punch that punches out these uh, little perfectly and you can put the letters inside there now the only other thing you like really really need for uh, making these cards are something that will punch out a circle. Now I am using the circle layering dies and I'm going to use this scalloped one for the example that I'm showing you but I have other examples at the end that uses this one here. So these are the two and a half inch circles. I felt like that worked best on there. Now the other thing you're going to need is a stamp and die set that you love that has some really uh, fun uh, little decorations that you can use. Now this, I chose this one because this is so, so, so popular. I felt like many of you probably already have this one. And so you can make all the cards that I'm going to make today. Uh, we're going to use this one in the example, but I've got lots of examples to show you at the end that are going to use the flowers. We're going to use the hearts in this die set. Um, what else? Oh, the lemon. And in the die set, these all get cut out. Um, so, but you could cut them out by hand too. You don't need the die set, except for the one where I use the hearts. <laughs> Those uh, would be really hard to cut out. So for this exact card, I used Calypso Coral and Granny Apple Green with the Calypso Coral card base. You need white for the inside, white for the outside, and another piece like this for the template that we're going to make. And then a strip uh, for here and a just something to cut out your little accent piece. Um, all these measurements are over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com or in that project sheet. For all of the examples that I'm gonna show you, all you need are two extra colors, Daffodil Delight and Starry Sky with the card stocks that match. And you can make all the cards I'm gonna show you at the end. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start by creating this uh, colored base here. And what we're gonna do is create a template that we can use over and over and over for all of these cards. And so this is a four and three quarters by three and three quarters, which is the exact size of that, um, our card stamp layer. And you're gonna put it in the middle or kind of up towards the top and just stick it down with a sticky note and run that through your die cutting machine. So now you are left, with, you can use this for another project, but then you're left with this, which is a template that's gonna protect, oh my goodness, did I do it wrong? Well, I didn't put it in the same place, that's for sure, but hey, let's see if this is gonna work. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. If not, we'll redo it, but <laughs> all right. So this is the template I made and used for all the cards. And you can see I um, kind of used my lighter colors on this side and my darker colors on this side and just keep this and reuse it. I would make it with thicker cardstock than I made this one, but it still worked for me. Now you're gonna grab your blending brush. I love blending brushes. Um, they're actual brushes. They're not sponges and they, oh, I, they make such great accent to your cards. So now you're going to line your template up on your card, your stamped uh, layer there. Boy, my words are not happening today. Oh, see that just shifted. I want that to stay exactly there and I'm going to hold this in place. You could also tape it down, but oh, I, this is, this is supposed to be like a quick card. We're trying to get rid of some of the steps. Now you just go around and around and around. And 
I, I don't care if I have dark spots and light spots on this. I actually think having a light spot right in the middle just kind of shines some light right there. So I like that. Again, save this and use this over and over. I've made a scalloped one and then this one is not scalloped. So now let's go ahead and stamp this uh, leaf here. This is right out of this set. Now you can cut it out, or if you have the teacup dies, go ahead and run that through your machine. All right, now we're gonna do our leathering, which is the super fun part. And um, I've got lots of tips to show you to just make this easy. Uh, my first one is take your Simply Chamois and put it right in your stamp set like this. So that way, as you're doing your letters, you can wipe off uh, what you um, wipe off each stamp before you put it back. Now. When you uh, figure out what you want to write on your card, write it on your paper. This um, <laughs> I was so afraid of misspelling uh, something just because I was using these letters. You kind of lose track. Um, so I'm going to write it here so I can always be referencing this. So this is going to go on the front and on the inside we're going to do big time. Now, when we cut these out, these are going to go here. And so instead of trying to figure out where I should start my letters to make sure they end where I want them to, I'm actually going to work my way backwards. So I'm going to start with this R in I miss your. And the only, only block you need to use this stamp set is this 1A block, which is why I, I think this is such a great set, especially for beginners who don't have like a lot of, um, a lot of supplies. <laughs> Okay, so I think I want mine to start here. Now, the, one, the reason why I even came up with this idea in the first place is because it was gonna bug me to death if I didn't have my letters straight. And so I'm like, I need something to follow. So that is why I created that circle. So now we're just gonna follow the curvature of that circle, placing our letters down, and they're gonna look fantastic. So you're just going to keep putting your letters around. One tip that I found is make sure you kind of give an exaggerated space in between the words. When I wasn't paying really close attention to that, um, it kind of looked like a jumble of letters. So kind of exaggerate that. Now on this one, it's okay to let your Y come down into that color circle. Now I'm going to stop talking and put this in fast motion. Now, while, I, while I'm busy stamping letters, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside with this big time here. And I've got a tip for that because we don't have, we want these letters to be straight also, but we don't have anything to follow. So grab yourself a sticky note, figure out where are you going to put those letters. I'm going to put mine right here. And you can kind of try to line your sticky note up with the, um, with the grid paper. So maybe, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my paper up with the grid paper. And then I'm actually going to extend, let's pick this line. I'm going to extend my sticky note onto there. Let's see, does that look straight? It's hard for me to tell. I'm not like directly over it. Okay, same thing here. I'm not going to start with these dots in big time because I might run off my paper. I'm going to start with this E and work backwards. Oh my, I got paint on me. So now this letter is going to extend down past my post-it note. I'm going to keep this attached here. I'm just going to peel this back, making sure I leave kind of an exaggerated space there. And we're going to stamp that. Oh no, that didn't work out so well. I'm not over my, I got to bring this over my face here. So that's going to be a little off center, but if I was, if it was over my, <laughs> right below my eyes, I would have gotten that straight on. But that's okay. I think it'll look fine. Okay, now I've got another tip. I want to add some dots. This set does not come with dots. So you can either like take your exclamation point and put it on your block and then use a post-it note to cover up that, uh, you know, line. Dip it in your paint and then put it there and you'll get, oh, <laughs> I'm giving you the wrong information. Dip it in here, take this off, and then stamp it. There you go, now you got a dot. But that was annoying me, and I 
didn't like the sound of the crinkly paper. I don't know. <laughs> so I, what I did was I took one of these letters. Let me, let me close this so you can see. It comes with all of these letters that have the little double dots on top. And I'm sure that has a fancy name for it. And I don't know what it is. But so I took one and I just snipped it with my scissors because this isn't something I'm going to use a lot. And if I do, I could totally put it together, put it back together like this. And it could totally work. Well, that I didn't have it completely centered, but you get the idea that I could totally do that again. So, but all I want are those little dots. So I just cut it. I'm going to put this in the center here. And then now we're going to add some. There, isn't that so cute? I keep those little dots right down there because I'm afraid, I was afraid I was going to lose them on this. <laughs> All right, so now it is time to stamp this and you're gonna get out your Starry Sky ink. Oh, let me get this out of the way. And your little strip of paper. Now this is, I gave you the exact measurements for this because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this scrap. If you don't wanna do that, you do not have to do that. You can just use a scrap that you have. But if you want to add this little accent piece underneath, cut it to the dimensions that I have on the project sheet or on my website. Okay, so now you're gonna grab this little outline, there's two outlines that come with this set. One is uh, straight uh, lines and this one has little dots. I found it so easy to add the outline first and then add the letters inside because if you were to add the letters first and then try to center up the outline, I just felt like that was just way harder than it needed to be and this just goes so fast. Okay, now grab this punch. I think it's called the best label punch. And we're just gonna punch these out. You just, I always turn my punches upside down so I can see where I am punching. And so I can use my other hand to center this up and then punch. Okay, now turn them all over and grab your Stampin' Dimensionals and put one on the back of each one. All right, now we're gonna find our E and just the same way that we've done before, we're gonna work backwards. And so I'm gonna place my last letter. Oh, not there. <laughs> I'll place my last letter where I want it, which I think is right there. And then I'm gonna work backwards using this so I spell it right. Now grab whatever little accent piece that you're gonna use and Put that on. Now, here's the fun part. Don't throw this little piece away. And we're gonna add an accent. Boy, I didn't, I did not get those straight. That's bugging me. Now, what you're gonna do is just put a thin line of glue. Don't squeeze too hard. You don't want this squirting out everywhere. And don't do it all the way to the end. And now what we're gonna do is kind of offset. We're gonna create a, we wanna make sure to cover up everything we've cut out but line that up. Do you see how it's lined up along the edges there? <laughs> Grab your card base. Use your bone folder to get it nice and creased down so it lays flat. Throw some glue on the back of here and on the inside. Oh, I kind of like the blue letters better. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely like the blue letters better, but I like those little leaves. I think we're gonna do that, but I'm actually gonna do those in blue so that we have uh, three colors on the inside here. So let's just do like this. Oh, that looks super cool. Where do I put these? That's good enough. Oh yeah, I love it. Okay, let me show you the rest. So remember, in all of the examples I'm about to show you, I my little accent pieces come from this set. But if you don't have this one, uh, pick a stamp set that has dies or if you don't mind fussy cutting things out and then build your sentiments based on what you have. So like that's how, um, let's see, let's see what do I have. Oh, because I wanted to do this. I love you to the moon. Well, I got it stuck because I was taking a picture of it and back. So I just wanted uh, to use those little hearts. They're actually in the die set for this. Isn't that so cute? 
for this one, I used the cutouts from here. I had scraps and I just tucked them under here. I thought that added such a cool touch. Happiness is you and cake. And I used the flowers and the um, this little leaf and even these flowers so that I didn't have to cut so many things out. And I used the flower for that one. You are the zest always. Of course, I used the lemon. I thought that was so clever. I did not come up with that. I went on the internet looking for funny, <laughs> funny sayings. Uh, you are the bomb. Thanks. So this one, I just used the outline and put that in there. Um, I also used a double color because I had some extra scraps laying around and I just tucked them in there. And then of course, the one that we made together. If you like these card ideas, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can find out the next project that's coming up. It also really helps my channel uh, grow, which is so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. Have a funny day. Funny day. Have a sunny day. <laughs>